Good morning guys, welcome to day three up here at Crown Bay Portage at Caribou Lodge. Uh, it rained last night, crazy thunderstorms, we had a light show through the room. Uh, but the fishing last couple days have been pretty good. It's about seven o'clock right now in the morning. We're headed back out for Lakers. That is, that's the game plan. We gotta get a big lake trout. Uh, Rick's turn today. Gonna be using Cisco's. If you haven't seen the last couple of videos, we're just using Cisco's or Creek Chubs. Or uh, I actually caught one on a little Cleo spoon tipped off the piece of tulipy. So yeah, gonna go try the spots. We kind of figured out, did a lot of auto charting the past couple days. So now final day, we can kind of go to the spots. We've caught a few at each one of these spots. Now you just have to get that big one. So if you're new here, click that subscribe button. Hope you guys enjoy the video. We're gonna get launched off right after Evan and Colin hop in the boat. And then we're good. Then we get to fish again. So a long day, probably like a 12 hour day today, but who doesn't like a lot of fishing? All right, we'll catch you when we get out of the spot. We're at the first spot now. Um, we fished a spot yesterday. Norm got two, and uh, the other boys in the boat got one as well. So we're gonna give it a whirl. Uh, it's about 75 feet. And I'm just gonna start off with the big old Cisco on bottom. And if I get bored, I will use the spoon with a chunk of tulipy. But this is all I'm using. Just like that, this is a two ounce St. Clair jig is what they call it. That'll sit on bottom, I have a hook on each side, so if it lies this way, I got a hook on top. If it lies this way, I still got a hook on top, so. Yeah, pretty easy. Norm up here at Caribou. You need some baits, give him a call, make sure he has some, but he has a wide selection right now of minnows, you know, five inch Cisco's, 10 inch Cisco's, whole bunch of different sizes and everything. So uh, if you need bait, get it from Norm. He's got you covered. So uh, what are you using? I'm gonna go with a dead bait as well. Okay. So Rick is gonna step into the fluorocarbon game. He doesn't usually use fluoro. And uh, he's gonna get a Laker real soon. He's gonna get one before me, I think, today. I got a, got a good feeling. It's supposed to rain pretty consistently, so about three o'clock. Honestly, much nicer than yesterday. It was super windy coming out. We got here in like half the amount of time it took yesterday. And uh, yeah, as long as it doesn't pour and we don't see no lightning or thunder, we're gonna be out here as long as we can today. So until we hook into a fish or something entertaining happens, just enjoy and sit back and relax and uh, hope you enjoy the vid. One more thing I'm doing, I'm not sure everyone does it. As soon as it hits the bottom, I'm tightening up my spool tensioner and then leaving my bell open that way. So I'm just trying to, you gotta stay focused on it obviously so it doesn't spool you. Um, but I'm just keeping an eye on it because I know it's on bottom and the only way that that spool tensioner is gonna come off because I have it set decently tight is if a fish is pulling it in its mouth, but it doesn't feel the resistance as if you had it closed and bends right over, it might feel the weight and pop off. So that's what it worked yesterday for me. I actually did it at Clearwater 2 on Friday. Um, so I'm gonna stick with it and yeah. Little, little food for thought, little tip if you've never done it before. Try it out. Wham! Wham! The other guys are on. I'm gonna just quickly swim over to them. Do you see it on the live scope? Really? Yeah. And uh, we were just setting it on bottom and I was like, oh, that's not bottom. Yeah. And we got a little tangled up. Yeah. And trying to undo the tangle and all of a sudden, boom, there's boom, a Boom, smoked there. it. That's awesome. The moment of truth. Awesome! First Laker! Good job. There you go. Professional! Look at you go! <laughs> Congrats! Thank you. Nice fish. Off to spot number two. Spot one didn't work out. We're going back to where I caught my two yesterday. So, quick drive and we'll be there. Back to fishing. 
I might have one. What? I might have one. Already? I might have one. Like, it's not moving. We're not moving. And it's just doing that consistently. I even let us align it for a minute. Pop back up. Yeah. Like, it kind of, it's slack. And then it goes. Ah, it's going tight again. Unless it's just a win. Yeah. So I guess the one thing we're learning about lake trout is you can fish all day and uh, in hopes that one big bite. Uh, we switched a couple times. We were just in about 90 feet of water before we are in about 80. Now we're in 65 and make a little hole where you did some auto charting. And we marky fish instantly. Uh, right in this hole so hopefully we got two dead baits dropping hopefully one of them are hungry they pick it up and you'll see us with a rod bent over but it is extremely foggy out right now it could be mine too um, extremely foggy out right now we're gonna head back around at 11 again 11 30 for some coffee and brunch and then I don't know come right back yeah try to come up with a game plan but we're marking fish right here right in this hole so. Hopefully we can get her done right now. Oh, look at that, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Right on bottom. Oop. That's what we are dealing with. Yeah. See, like a bite now. Okay, last spot before lunch. See if we can get her done. 85 feet of water, did another more auto charting. Auto charting is literally life this weekend, trying to find all the spots and reefs and everything. So, marking, but if you fish once again, uh, Rick, you can do cut bait. Okay, so cut bait, cut bait, line on bottom, wait, be patient, and uh, hopefully it'll pay off. I think I got one. Yeah. Thanks. Let it see if it's one line. Yeah, I the toy how one. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop it if I yeah. Yeah, yeah. fish on. Oh I think I pulled out of its mouth. No, it's still on. Instantly right back down. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, um, but just thought I'd say our experience here at Caribou Lodge has been absolutely awesome. The hospitality, the food, the fishing has been fantastic. 10 out of 10 would recommend. So if you're looking to book a little bit of a trip, get away from the city, I'm going to leave a link down below of Caribou Lodge's website. Norm has got an amazing place here and everyone should uh, come check this place out because it's been nothing but the best. So uh, sorry for the interruption, we're going to get back to the fishing action right now. Yeah. Oh, and the flasher. Or sonar. Feels like guys fishing with it. Nibbling. Cisco on bottom. Woo! Right after you too. Five minutes. Not even five minutes. Yeah. One picked up mine and the yeah. other one was just stuck. Okay. Yes! Ooh, another thick one! Oh, yes! Oh, and it popped out again. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. Get that hook completely out of there. Not long, but man, these fish are chunky. Okay, guys, right after Rick dropped down, you got a bite, a tangle off our line. Not even two minutes after, I hooked up with another fish. I'm so shocked at how thick these fish are. Oh, not super long but just big mouth look at that ah i'm gonna do a quick measurement that belly is huge Woo. i think it's only 27. 
27 and a half. 27 and a half inch leg trout. Man, do they fight. Look at the mouth. Ah! Okay. Ugh. There she goes. Awesome. <laughs> cool. Well, it's 11 o'clock. We're gonna head back and have some lunch with the crew, see how they did at their other spot. Uh, yeah, it's still very foggy, so we'll play it safe when we're driving back, but we think we found a decent general area. This is kind of the same location we were in yesterday when we got the two, and uh, yeah, um, I have one on. Not big. You want it? Ooh. Oh, ripped Rip me off. Anyway, we think we're in a pretty good area, so we're gonna keep coming back here and uh, hopefully get some more fish. Just coming back from an amazing lunch. We had some homemade soup, some delicious sandwiches. The food up here at Caribou Lodge, you guys, whew, 10 out of 10. It's one o'clock now, we're just about to, we're gonna head back out for some Lakers. We're gonna go back to that spot where we did not very well this morning, but we were marking consistent fish after we found it and we got quite a few bites. So uh, that's the game plan. Hope you're liking the video. Um, one more time, if you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're doing, you know, just smash that subscribe button because we're gonna get on some fish. So we'll see you when we're on the water. Okay, we're back on the water now. Very similar spots where we were before. Dropping some dead baits. It's kind of raining right now. Not sure if you can tell, um, but yeah, I'm excited. Time to get another lake trout. As soon, as soon as I, as soon as you yeah. Set up. Oh, good, it is. Ooh. On? He's on? He's on. Oh, he's a big one. He's a big one. Okay. Great. Take your easy, take easy. I'm gonna switch to the spot lock. Can we get there? Oh, no, spot lock's there. Spot lock's there. You're good, you're good. Okay, you're good. Oh, he's a bit I'm just talking about that. Yeah. It hit it and started spinning instantly. Oh, yeah. It's a nice fish. As soon as fish. I said, there's a fish right there on bottom. Yeah, that's a good I touched, I touched the rod and went, <laughs> Yes! Hooked up, guys. We finally did it. Not yet, but it's on. Let's just get him in. You gotta be seeing him soon. No, not yet, not yet. He took a lot of line. Oh, he's rolling, rolling, rolling. Don't you do that. I don't want you coming off. Oh, oh he... yeah, there he is. Oh, yes! 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 Oh, 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 oh. Oh, good good fish! That's a good, one. good fish! That's a big fish. Oh, that is chunky! That is a huge, there's a chunky monkey. That's gotta Ooh. be your biggest lake show in a few years. In a few years, yeah. Ho -ho! Awesome. Ladies and gents, we got this fish underway now. Okay, I'll grab the net, hold it up, snap a couple pictures. Dead bait on bottom. These fish are not going after anything aggressive. And we just got rewarded with looks like a very, very fat, chunky lake trout. There it is. There it is! Like this that. is what you get at Caribou Lodge. Oh my gosh! Look hey, at that. Quick measurements. Okay. How is it? 34 inches. Just touching 34. Fantastic. Hold up one more time for me, Rick. Great there you guys go. freaking fish. Okay, we're gonna send that one home. That is the biggest fish of the trip so far. What a beauty. Kind of bounce.
in a bit. Yeah. Oh shoot. Doesn't feel huge. Drop them in the live lock, get that going, and you have air in it. Yeah. Ooh, now it's dogging me a bit. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. There we go. There we go, buddy. There we go. That's what we want to Ooh. see. Put the camera on the right angle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's not I losing. I can do whatever. Okay. Holy. Now it feels like it's got some weight. fish coming up with it. Look at it. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's kind of big fish. Rolling. Oh, woo! I just saw my line go wobble, wobble, and the rod tip was going a bit. I was like, oof! I had my bevel open too. Tell me when you can see it, because it's a longer rod. Oh man. Yep. Nice one. Oh, she wait. Yes! That's my PB. That's that's gotta be my PB. That's got that's gotta be my PB. Pretty dang close. Okay, we gotta keep Okay. Going. Second fish for me today. Just after Rick got his another beautiful lake trout. Very nice, very, very nice fish. Quick measurement on the board. Now it's closed. 33. 33? Nets in the way. 33. Beautiful. Okay. Ugh. Oh, off she goes. Woo! That is my. I broke my PB twice in the last two days. 30 and a half, 33. Yes. Okay. Just get back in. So, I guess the moral of the story today is uh, being patient. We're not exactly doing anything fun, right? Not that much. No, we're kind of just, like I said, lying dead baits on the bottom. They're not, we've tried a tube jig, we've tried jigging spoons, and they just haven't been doing the trick. They haven't been following it really. Um, so this way well, definitely isn't the most entertaining, but it can be the most rewarding, especially like in ice fishing and stuff. Like you see a lot of guys post videos, uh, Clayton, Jay, and Aaron, a lot of times they're using their more aggressive bait but the fish will actually come in, be attracted to it, but go for like a gold eye or a tulip, a cisco that's on the bottom because they're like, eh, I don't have to work hard. It looks like a bigger meal, right? So uh, that's basically what we're doing. It's it's super nice behind the windshield and then above, it's kind of windy, kind of chilly. It's still kind of missing a bit and the fog looks like it's making its way back. But yeah, just kind of a little midday update. It's about 325. We're going to be back at the lodge around six for dinner, which by the way, the food, Rick, how, how good has the food been? Fantastic. Absolutely. Amazing. Filling, warm coffee, whatever you need, Norm's got it. Um, and he's right on an awesome body of water too for a whole bunch of different species. So yeah, I'm going to get back to fishing now. Sorry for blabbing on, but uh, yeah. Peace. I haven't seen it yet. Haven't seen it? So, so it could be a good one. <laughs> They're all good. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Ooh, nice. awesome. Good there job. you go. That's a oh. chunky one. That one came up. <laughs> As I was reeling up too. <laughs> I, <laughs> Oh, it is going. This might be a big one. Ooh. Just pull in line. Recording? Wow. Trying to reel up, guys, and uh, I got absolutely smoked. I didn't even really get a good heck hook set or anything either. I just kind of felt weight. Ooh. Oh yeah. 
It feels good. Uh, Loomis 83. It's kind of like a trolling slash like flatfish rod, but it's been working really good for jigging. Oh man, this feels nice. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Just pulling them out. <laughs> Did you see it? No. Nope. It just dove back down to like 60 feet. Man, it's so good. Oh, he's up over the 50, 45, 40. He's showing up there. You got another one with it. It's going back down again. It's going back. <laughs> oh, my arms are getting sore. Wow. It's going. <laughs> it's going to be a big fish. Ah! Just as we're about to pack up, too. Am I moving forward? I shouldn't be. We're spot locked. Yeah, it says anchor. Oh, it's right here, it's right here. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's oh, a nice yeah, fish. there's another good one. Dandy. There's your personal. Yes. All right, guys, here it is. Trying to crank up. We're about to pack up, and this chunky, heavy lake trout smashed my bait. This could be my new PB. Definitely weight-wise. It is. It's only 31. Only a 31-inch. Laker, but wow, what a freaking beauty. A little melt, a little melt action. Okay, I go back through here. Ooh. Off he goes. Woo! 31. Just had a 10 out of 10 awesome dinner. It is about 6.45, 7 o'clock. We're headed back into the water. We've been doing walleye in the evenings, but I got my way. And we're doing lake trout now, right, Rick? You got more your way. lake. We're going more lake trout. So, uh, more Cisco's. Thank you, Norm. Uh, he's got baits here at the lodge for you. Yeah, going back to the same spot we caught all our fish at, 80 feet of water, then a sit on bottom. The biggest so far today out of the whole group is 35 inches, 34 inches, and 33 inches. So, awesome day, even if we don't catch anything, but. It's always nice to catch more fish, so we'll see you when we're out there. Well, I'm not exactly sure what happened with the outro. I don't know if I just wasn't recording and I was just talking to the camera, but it actually wasn't recording at all. So um, I didn't have an outro for the last day up at Caribou, but uh, here it is. It was amazing. Um, good fishing, good people, good food, good stay, beautiful place. It was awesome. I just want to extend my thanks to Norm at Caribou. Thank you very much for hosting us and giving us the opportunity. Uh, as well as the fishing hole for providing the opportunity for us to head up north with the people who won the contest and have a great fishing trip. It was awesome. Hopefully we can do more things like this in the future because uh, it was nice to get away. So uh, yeah, once again, the link is in the description. If you want to book yourself a stay up at Caribou Lodge Outfitters and like you've heard me say it before, you need anything fishing, come on down to the fishing hole. I'll take care of you. Until next time, guys, stay tuned. Next episode of Magic with Fishing Adventures. And make sure you smash that subscribe button. Peace.